meeting uh, that happened this week. We have different media houses and uh, they'll introduce themselves uh, when we're in the time of Q&A. With your permission, I uh, would like to start this uh, MPC press conference and we'll have a Q&A session at the end of the presentation. You're welcome, Governor. Thank you. Do this have the slides on the screen? Yes, thank you. Uh, good morning once again and welcome to our partners from the media fraternity. So as, as usual and as Bob has just said, this is a press conference that follows our uh, quarterly monetary policy committee and financial stability committee meetings. Uh, so we'll give you the brief through this uh, short presentation. Uh, so let's go to the next slide. We'll first focus on what we discussed in the Monetary Policy Committee. And as usual, we start by looking at the global uh, economic performance, uh, which, is, uh, as you would understand, impacts on our domestic performance. So I won't do much on this because you follow it from uh, different publications, uh, the IMF, the World Bank, and the other international publications. That's where we get uh, this information. The brief thing is that at the global level, there's still a lot of uncertainties around uh, the economic performance. The inflation is still high. Uh, so economic growth this year is, is expected to slow down compared to what we had last year at the global level. But the good thing is that uh, inflation is also expected to start easing this year, though still remains higher than the, the global average over the last uh, couple of years. So at 6.6% uh, inflation this year, is still high, we normally have always below 5%. And as you know from the uh, Western world, most of them are still uh, way above their uh, targets, inflation targets. But the good thing is that started uh, going down. Same with Sub-Saharan Africa. And this is mainly linked to commodity prices that are still high uh, and uh, inflation is still increasing in the in that category let's move to the next slide please so this is a breakdown of what we see in terms of what is driving this uh, uh, global inflation in terms of its uh, trend reducing trend but also uh, remaining high uh, really and this reducing trend is expected to to be more pronounced in 2024, that's when we expect to see inflation really going down in most of the economies across the world. Uh, so let's move to the, yeah, this have, I've just said on the, the, the growth of the global economy and this is for the, Sub-Saharan Africa is remaining a bit uh, similar to what we had last year. So this year is expected still to grow at 3.8%. And next year, in fact, to do a bit better. This is mainly because the, the three biggest economies on the continent, that is Nigeria, South Africa, and Angola, that are driven mainly by commodity uh, exports. So they're benefiting from the high commodity prices at the global level, and that is overall supporting the continental growth. Now, coming to the domestic economy, uh, again, as we've seen from the publication by the Institute of Statistics, uh, the economic performance this year remains strong. Uh, so far, the first three quarters, we saw an average of 8.5% growth of our economy uh, from 10.9% we had achieved in 2021. So at 8.5%, that's really strong compared to the projections we had of 6.8% uh, for the year. And when you look at the frequent uh, economic indicators that we track from the central bank point of view for quarter four, 
growing at 8.9%. So this gives us uh, assurance that overall the performance for 2022 will be much higher than the original projection of 6.8%. Uh, so at least that's what we see in the, the year 2022. On the external side, uh, we see continued growth, strong growth from the export side. This was same in 2021 and even 2022 at uh, 31.4% growth. And this is mainly driven by the high commodity prices, as I said, impacting on our traditional exports. But we also see increased manufacturing for exports, and that is supporting the strong growth we see on the export side. However, on the other side, we see strong growth again on the import side at 23.6%. This is linked to two main factors. One is the global commodity prices, especially fuel or oil. Uh, that is really pushing our import to be high. But also as the economy opens up, as you saw the strong economic performance in the slides before, of course that pushes us up demand for, for imports, and so that impacted our import bill. And because the import bill is much, in terms of the best, much higher than the export uh, earnings, so though we had a stronger growth on the export side than the import side, but we ended up with a, an increased uh, trade deficit because of the stronger base on, on, on imports. So, that is the negative side on our external side. We saw higher trade deficit, and that impacted on our exchange uh, market, impacted our exchange market, where we saw the run and franc depreciating by 6.05% uh, vis-a-vis the US dollar last year. And I think 2021, we had uh, depreciated around 3.8%. So I, I'm sure you see that uh, on the market, the pressures on the on the exchange market, this is linked to this uh, high import bill uh, that we see. On the monetary policy side, as we uh, kept on increasing our policy rate uh, for, I think we've done it three times last year, that impacted on the short-term money market interest rate, so we saw the interbank rate increasing from 5.18 in 2021 to 5.92 in 2022, <clears throat> which is really transmission of our uh, policy decisions, uh, the monetary policy decisions. We don't see much impact on the market rates, as you see the, the rending rate increase by uh, just 20 basis points. In fact, the, the deposit rate reduced uh, compared to what we had last year. And these are mainly, it takes time for the monetary policy decision to be transmitted into the, the longer term uh, credit market and deposit market. But we saw, uh, that you can see that I think in the, uh, in the other uh, publications, we saw the growth of credit to the private sector moderating uh, during the course of last year, which is linked to, to the uh, monetary policy decisions. On inflation, which is our main focus for any monetary policy committee, as I said, this remained high, uh, or as we've been tracking you know, the, the monthly publications by the Institute of Statistics. So last year, we, we really had high inflation, and uh, as you see, the average for the year was 13.9, uh, coming from a low base in 2021 of 0 0.8, that also slightly contributes to the, to the high numbers we see. And by the end of the year, we had gone above 20% uh, in terms of inflation. And this was mainly driven by all the components of, uh, or this increase was in all the components of inflation on energy inflation linked to the global commodity prices, uh, agriculture inflation, linked to poor performance of uh, agriculture because of weather conditions last year. As we had said again, uh, I think in, uh, in our MPC of November, both season A and season B, even season C of last year, uh, really underperformed. 
and that impacted heavily on uh, on food uh, inflation. Uh, all these plus the global challenges impacts on the on the core uh, inflation. So all the components that went up last year. So when you look at the, the outlook, uh, next slide, please. Uh, so uh, yeah, this giving details that I've just given. Continuous. So as I said, we see sort of uh, the curve turning. Uh, the, the inflation curve has been going up. In fact, at some point in the third and fourth quarter, it was a bit exp exponential uh, to a maximum of 21.7 uh, in November, and so. December, we, s we started seeing the curve uh, going down. Uh, so as you saw, the inflation for January was at 20.7%. So we expect this downward trend to continue, but in the first half of the year, it will still remain high. It will still remain in double digits. So we expect to see inflation going back to our band by the end of the year, in the fourth quarter of the year. That's when we expect it to be uh, below 8%. So because of these pressures we still see globally, and agriculture, even season A of this year, today where we are, uh, uh, it doesn't look that good. You, you all know what is happening on the market. We see some commodities like Irish potatoes, beans, still really uh, increasing on the market. So that is putting pressure, continuing to put pressure on inflation. So based on that, uh, we still high inflationary pressures. The Monetary Policy Committee decided to again uh, increase uh, the central bank policy rate from 6.5 to 7%. Though there is this positive development, we see the curve turning, uh, but we still see high uh, pressures and we need to continue applying all the tools we have uh, to bring back this inflation to the band of 8 to uh, 2 percent. So that's the brief on the Monetary Policy Committee discussions uh, and decision. So you can quickly go to the Financial Stability Committee. So this slide, I'm sure you're used to this uh, on, the, on the landscape, on the structure of our financial sector, but I think here the main point is that we saw the assets of the financial sector continue to grow strongly, double digit growth at 17.7%. And this has been the case over the last couple of years, even through the challenges we've gone through, we are happy that the financial sector remained strong. Uh, and, and as you see in the next slides, it's not just strong growth, but even the quality of the, uh, of the assets, uh, soundness indicators, they all been improving over the last couple of years. So now here is focusing on the banks. Uh, we see again assets of the banks growing uh, strong, uh, uh, strongly by 10.3%. Uh, that gives us the, the, the breakdown of the, the key assets, uh, the main uh, assets uh, or the main components of the assets of the banks are loans and government securities which are earning assets. And then the other slide is showing uh, how the bank is intertwined with the other subsectors of the financial sector, which we have uh, presented to you before. On, on the gloss of loans, yeah, yes, I think I had indicated that it slowed down uh, a bit compared to last year, uh, from 15% to 13.9%, but still remains strong. Uh, and so the, the other <coughs> slides just giving you the breakdown of the different sectors to which uh, these loans go to. Uh, so uh, we still see the banking sector really strongly supporting the economic recovery that we are, we are seeing today. Uh, this slide shows the uh, soundness indicators uh, and uh, as I said, they remain very strong. The capital base the banks are sitting on is, is really strong, 21.7% uh, compared to the minimum of 15%, they shouldn't be going below. Uh, I think the big improvement we've been seeing over the last, uh, say, five years is on the quality of the loans. And non-performing loans have been going down, 
Uh, all along, we took time to really achieve our benchmark of 5%, but now for two years in a while, we are below the 5% benchmark in terms of the quality of loans. So this, this has really been uh, linked to uh, improved underwriting practices. Though we've been seeing write-offs, but that has also reduced uh, over the last three years. Uh, so good liquidity, good capital base, improved quality of loans, uh, and then that automatically trans translates into good performance in terms of profitability, which the good profitability again enforces the, the, the the capital of the, of the banks because most of this is always retained uh, in the banks. So the, the graph below showing the details of uh, uh, different subsectors vis-a-vis -vis the NPL. Uh, so next please. Microfinance sector the same. Uh, I summarize it that also assets are growing uh, strong capital base, strong liquidity, improved quality of loans in terms of uh, NPL is also great, went below 5%. So the, N the, the microfinance sector is also strong. Uh, this is across all the subsectors, still challenges in um, Ranger Circle that we are being addressed with the uh, current uh, uh, program of consolidating the circles. Uh, continue to the, yeah, this I've summarized, I can go to insurance. Uh, insurance is also growing strongly, assets growing by 17%, and uh, we saw high growth of premiums at 27%. So as, as the economy was opening up again, you see business again coming up, and automatically that the financial sector supports the, f the recovery of the economy, but the recovery of the economy also supports the growth and strength and the soundness of the, uh, of the financial institutions and the financial sector in general. Uh, in terms of the soundness indicators, uh, again, we see strong um, capital base of the insurance uh, companies. Here we focus on private because the, the two public uh, insurance companies don't have any issue. They are really strong and solid in in all their numbers, uh, so but we see the private insurers also uh, really improving uh, with strong uh, solvency ratio of 238 percent compared to a minimum of 100 percent, and uh, liquidity has been below our benchmark of 100 percent, but has been increasing and improving, and we are comfortable with uh, the 98 they have reached. We are sure that this year they will have recovered because we've been seeing improving trend and this also uh, has contributed to improved profitability of the of the uh, insurance sector though uh, as you we still, still have challenges with moto moto is still uh, a challenging subsector of the insurance sector in terms of the the losses and the claims linked to that uh, unfortunately we saw accidents increasing over the last two years and that has contributed to increased claims in the, in the insurance sector. Uh, continue to pension. I, I don't intend to take much time on pension, uh, whether RSSB or the private pension or Ezra Heza. I think we just report uh, their numbers and they all are moving in the positive direction. So on payment systems, uh, We've seen a lot of improvements and growth in the uh, payment systems and use of uh, mobile uh, channels. Uh, so the numbers here are showing you the trends. In fact, that for example, in 2021, for example, on merchant payments, when uh, the charge was introduced, we saw the use reducing. But over time, with the campaigns uh, from government and the service providers, We've seen the uptake of uh, merchant uh, uh, POS is increasing, and so as you see the curves are going up again. I know most of you would be uh, uh, interested in questions around the, the, the stability of these systems across financial institutions. 
Uh, I think that uh, happens when there's a migration or there's upgrades of their banking systems. Like if, uh, let me talk about the experience we had with the BPR. I know it might be a question that people would want to ask. Uh, so they had an upgrade of their systems. Unfortunately, they did a lot of things together. So they were, uh, uh, they were consolidating the merger of the two banks, KCB with BPR, and at the same time, they, they, they upgraded and migrated to a new co-banking system. And uh, again, uh, migrated to new other systems, operating systems. So I think the way they structured it uh, didn't go well, as I'd expected, and it created a lot of uh, uh, turmoil in the market, but as at least uh, the updates we have now is almost all the backlog has been cleared, uh, systems have stabilized, though some are still slow, but at least we've seen uh, this uh, stabilizing. Uh, so th these, th these are things that, as you remember, is we had the same case with the BK, I think in 2022, uh, so we, we've strengthened our oversight over these uh, upgrades and we are putting up new uh, requirements before an upgrade to minimize the disruptions. We can't assure you that there won't be disruptions uh, with, with, with IT, with uh, uh, new upgrades, uh, but at least we follow it up to ensure that the upgrades are really, uh, disruptions are minimized as, as much as possible. Again, what we are sure is that uh, the, unfortunately, there were delays in service pro providers to the customers, but at least no customer loses their money, or the bank losing their money, or disrupting the bank on, uh, for, for in a way that would impact on their business uh, uh, going forward. So these are short-term disruptions that are really not good at all for the customers, and we are following it up to ensure uh, next time we take we, more precautions to, to minimize the disruptions. So briefly, that's, that's the, the, the summary of uh, the, the discussions around the Financial uh, Stability Committee. Uh, so really, we are happy with the status of our financial sector. It's, it's, it's strong, but has also been really improving uh, over the last uh, couple of years. So. Thank you. We'll be happy to receive questions from yourselves. Thank you. Back to you, Bob. Uh, thank you, Governor. I will open it up to our media partners, and uh, we'll take a couple of questions. And please feel free. Kubazana mo Rwanda. Marakoza Governor, um, Vincent Gasana, KT Press. Yeah. Um, sorry, um, you, you predicted that we were going to ask about the, the mergers, so I'm going to start with that for me. Um, you've already answered um, the question I had in mind, which was um, how much uh, did the disruptions cause the financial sector, how deep it was? Clearly, it wasn't all that deep. But um, it's, you also mentioned that we had a similar problem um, with another bank. Uh, given the fact that um, these things are not new anywhere, the mergers, and given the fact that our financial sector continues to grow, it's going to happen a lot. Um, there is, you as the regulator can uh, do the best you can, but is it not up to the banks themselves to get these systems in place? and? There must be templates somewhere, so how is it that we keep going through these things? Um, the other uh, question, if I may, is um, agriculture um, is a major uh, part of our economy, and we are um, in the era of climate change. Are we going to get used to the fact that um, inflation from agriculture is still is going to be almost a permanent problem? Uh, because the, the unpredictability of uh, weather conditions. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vincent. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I think, well, yeah, it, I think the disruption is not just about the margin, as I say, it's mainly about the upgrades. Uh, so, and I, as I said, maybe this was more pronounced because 
the upgrade and the merger was done at the same time. Uh, but normally we see uh, disruptions when there's an upgrade of a system. We've had the same here in BNR, so it's, it's not something that is uh, uh, unusual. Normally you go through all the tests, you work with the service providers, but when you go live, there are always disruptions here and there. So I think what we, we are committed to, to ensure going forward, uh, maybe stronger than we've been doing, is really to follow up, uh, to put up a clear, there's a template, there's, they go through all these acceptance tests and the, the systems look okay, uh, so, but we, we, we need to, to, to do more. Uh, maybe in the, for example, in the case of BPR, would have completed the, the merger of, of, of the two banks before they upgraded. That would have minimized the disruptions. So that's a lesson learned. Uh, otherwise, yes, the, 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 these upgrades will always be there. And uh, as I said, I can't assure that there won't be disruptions. The, the, these are IT systems. But we'll make sure we take all measures to minimize uh, the disruptions. Uh, so on the, on the agriculture, it's an interesting question. Uh, there's a lot going on within government to try and see how we can uh, stabilize agriculture. And so there's push and uh, I know there are a lot of projects supporting irrigation, irrigation at subsistence level, uh, I mean individual level and at uh, 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 big scale, so that will help us to minimize uh, the, the, the disruptions of agriculture uh, linked to uh, climate change, uh, but also how farmers are prepared. Uh, the other thing is we strengthening our, our material uh, center for weather forecasts. Uh, so I think there's, if farmers we advise well in terms of expected patterns of rain, they know the right time to plant, and uh, so there's a lot going on uh, within government, uh, uh, government institution to see how we can minimize the, the impact of this uh, climate change on agriculture, and so that's where the solution is. Thank you. Monaco is a governor that was defeated by the Mangoria Radio and TV Ten. It was on Fitech Chirajana and Niriza Mukarjivichiro Quisoko. Yurebje Ningamba Maji Mufatanga, Vanyan Grui Jugu Kujenda Musamra Rarugungu Korgwaba and him. Yurebje Mibarusanga, Visi Kananiza Mukarjubu Kungu, Bukungu Bramanuka, Ariko Mukarusha Konjera. Yeah, we just could carry on with question. Yeah, when na na IMF heard that Kuvuga ko ubukungu gisi nubwo nubwo muri Afrika muri rusange buzagenda nabi kubera ibyemezo byabanye inkuru z'ibihugu byo guhangana ni inflation. Tukibaza tuti usibye kuzamura uru rukungu ko bivugwa ko ari kibazo kwizamuka ryo bukungu n'abahanga barabivuga. Hari izindi ngamba nyakwa governor mufata kugira ngo bitaba ikibazo kwizamuka ryo bukungu abaturage bakagenda nabe nkuko banagaragaza ku isoko ko ibicira ari bo bigira hingaruka zikomeye ikindi ni kijyanye n'amafaranga muri imitsi ari bazwe ikibazo kiti kuki muri iyi minsi abantu bataka ku bukungu bumeze nabi ibiciro birazamuka guhaha ni ibibazo ariko wajya kureba ku mitungo y'abanyi nkuko mu bigaragaje aga ugasanga byazamutse ku rugero rusaga 170 ku ijana gafana haba habaye iki murakoze ijana ngo ubushize twarabisobanuye kuko iyo hari ikibazo cy'umuvudu ko biciro ku masoko aje twita inflation ni kibazo kibi ku bukungu iyo kitarwanyijwe mu mayira mashya kigira ingaruka mbi cyane ku bukungu mu gihe kireke no kuguzima bw'abantu so iyo rero banki z'ibihugu zifata icyemezo cyo kuzamura urwunguko 
mu byukuriki bagishaka guca intege kuzamuka ku bukungu kuko ubukungu buzamuka niko abantu bagira amafaranga menshi niko bagura niko ba niko batiza umwindi kwa kuzamuka ku biciro eh wenda twebwe hano kubera ko nk'ibihugu biki munzu yaza amajyambere ntabwo ibikorwa by'ubukungu biba bishingira cyane ku bantu bafata imyenda mu mabanki niki bigatuma ngungu twarazamuye urwungu ko ari kwire by'ubukungu barazamutse kubuga tuvuga yuko dushobora ku kugira umunani kwijana kuzamuka ku bukungu muri mwaka ushize biri hejuru cyane ugiranyije n'ikibazo cya inflation dufite ahandi kubo nko mu bihugu byo hanze bihita bihura uko central bank zamura interest rate bihita bica intege kuzamuka ku bukungu so icyo central bank bishaka nuko nuko gabanye cyo twita domestic demand ubwo nabantu bushobozi bafite bwo kugura ibintu uko gabanye ubushobozi bwo abantu bafite bwo kugura ibintu ni kuci intege abantu kugura ibintu ni ibiciro byazamuka so ngo ngo iyo umuntu atangiye kugira amafaranga make mu mufuka we atekereza akabe imbere yuko yishyura ikintu gicuro cyazamutse ariko yafite amafaranga niyo gicuro cyazamuka n'ubundi azagura nejo bikomeze bitize umurindi ku biciro bizamutse nuko ekonome ikora mu bukungu na inflation uko ibyemezo bifatwa no kugabanya wa muvudu ko bukungu kugira ngo uci intege uko abantu bagura ibintu batatekereje cyane bice intege wa wundi wakazamuye ibiciro ibiciro bitangire ku gusubira hasi so mu gihe akenshi yo haba inflation iri hejuru cyane nko kongo ko tuyifite eh byabyitezwe ko ubukungu buri gusubira hasi kwera byemezo byafashwe byo kurwana na inflation ntabwo ushobora kubigira byombi ngo bigendane ntabwo wa yo central banks zitangiye kurwana na inflation ziba ziteguye yuko biri bugire ingaruka itari nziza ku bukungu mu gihe gito kugira ngo bashobe kugira ingaruka nziza mu gihe kirekire bidakozwe no nanga twagira ingaruka mbi ku bukungu mu gihe kirekire ku inflation cyo gihe ya tugira hantu twita stagflation stagflation naho inflation iri hejuru n'ubukungu ntabwo bimo buzamuka icyo ni cyo central banks n'ibihugu muri rusange biba birwana nabyo nuko tugira ikibazo kugabanya kuzamuka ku bukungu mu mwaka umwe cyangwa ibiri kugira ngo twirinde stagflation izamara imyaka itanu cyangwa ikana rero so ibyo rero nta ntabwo twa tubyiteze birazwe ko ariko bigende ariko ni ikiguzi cyo kugira ngo inflation sibira hasi eh so nuko bikora unfortunately nta 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 kindi twa nta kindi twabikorera eh ku kibazo cya cya cyo kuzamuka kwa ku bigo by'imari ngira ngo ntabwo byagonje kuba ikibazo ko ari ntabwo twagonje kubibona muri negative sense ko ibigo by'imari ni 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 nubwo ngo rufite uruhare runini mu gutembere ku bukungu ntabwo byazamutse uyu munsi kwera ko byazamuye inyungu byakagaba ntabwo byayizamuye in fact you have yet kahandi twebwe nubwo twagiye tuzamura ubukungu rwa central bank ariko ntabwo abo bazamu inyungu bacaba so icyabafashije kugira ngo bagende bongera kuzamura ko inyungu nabyerekanye mu bwiza bwa kazi bakora bagabanyije inguzanyo zitishyurwa zigenda zibahomberamo eh uko bagenda baguka niko bagenda ba icyo twita nka operational cost kuri uko niba wishyura amashanyarazi kuri inzu ugakora mu bikorwa bikuza na miliyari eshanu nuje no gukora mu bikorwa bikuza na miliyari 10 ya amashanyarazi aguma ari kwa kundi so uko bagenda bo uko ubukungu bugenda butera imbere niko bagura ibikorwa byabo niko the income abona to the cost it cost yendi iba nkiya kuri kuri income bigatuma urwungu ko ruzamuka so ntabwo rero biva mu ko bahenza abaturage ahubwo bivu ko barushaho kunoza imikorere yabo bigatuma bakomeza ku guteza imbere eh uko ibyo ngibyo irebye imbere aho nta inflation twa dufite nta kibazo bavuga cyari bihara ariko urwungu ko rwabo rwari hasi kwera ko bari dufite ibibazo byinshi bako bakwana yirebye rero amavugura yabaye kuhera 2017 dukorana nabo cyane byafashije kunoza imikorere yabo ari byo bigenda bitanga ingaruka nziza ku kurwungu ko rwabo 
ntakubeshye ntabwo baragiye ho twifuza kubagera nk'urwe gurwe imari az iyo turebye inyungu babona visa bishora mari bagiye mu ntabwo baragera ho bagera kugira ngo twe twa twa competitive ugiranyije nabandi mu karere turi so ibyo rero ni ibintu tukorana nabo kukomeza twubaka imikorere myiza ituma barushaho kuba urwego rw'imari rwashishikariza umuntu wari wese ku rwego muzamanga ko yashora imari Yes, internet, then Twitter. Nakoze ntabwo ari muri BPR gusa wenda tunarebye mu mabanki muri rusange rusanga abaturage bakunze kugaragaza yuko iyo bakuye amafaranga kuri konte za bonde bayashyira kuri telefone cyangwa se kuri telefone bashyira kuri konte ugasanga habayemo gutinda nyamara twari bakubyanye ni ikorana buhanga bankizikagaragaza ko zikora ibishoboka kugira ngo ziteze imbere ikorana buhanga bityo na gahunda ya cashless yihute uh, ni iki gituma hakiri ibyo bibazo ariko noneho umuturage wari wifuje gukoresha iryo korana buhanga kugira ngo herekanye amafaranga ariko agahoro ni bibazo ese musanga bitaci intege iyi gahunda ya cashless ni iki gikorwa na Benel kugira ngo ibyo bibazo bikimuke ariko byo mwe hari ko kuba client ba BPR nifuza gusobanuza kubara abanyamigabane bayo uyu munsi mwababwira iki nka banki nkuru y'igihugu ikindi nifuzaga kuba subanuza mwagaragaje yuko mu uyu mwaka uzajya kurangira ibiciro byongeye gutangira kugabanuka ye guhagiye hafatwa ingamba zinyuranye ariko bikagara ko gara ko ibiciro bikomeza kuzamuka ari nayo mpamvu namwe mukomeza kugenda muzamura igipimo kinyungu fatizo ni iki gitanga ikizere kugira ngo abaturage bizere yuko mu mpera z'uyu mwaka byivuze bazabona ibiciro byasubiye hasi bityo no kuhaha bakongera bagashobora guhaha bitabaremereye murakoze murakoze janet thank you ku kibazo cya bpr ugihuje ni ibindi bibazo bihari no busanzwe kwishyura na kwishyura no hanga ngira ngo tubitandukanyije bya bpr twavuze byatewe nuko ba ba kugwede mu kinyarwanda niki kongera guhindura sisteme yabo bakoreshaga bakai bakai bakayizana kubigezwe kugira ngo kuvugura si kuvugura sisteme zabo zaza bakoresha kugira ngo ziyenane na nibigezwe ho zushoho gutanga umusaruro muri zo zushoho gukora neza muri uko kwimuka rero bimuka bava muri sisteme ya recharge bajya mu cyashya babi kureye ni gihe kimwe cyo guhuza system zabo za mabanka yo mbuko yari yahuye bituma habaho ibibazo bituma aba ibibazo ukuntu izo izo system za za zakora ariko byo abantu bumve yuko iki kibazo tutakiha uburemere tutazi uburemere bwacyo ariko buri gihe kenshi abahaye habayeho kwimura system uva mu yishaje ujya mu cyashya akunda kuba mu ibibazo icyo dukora twebwe n'amabwiriza dukiraho no gukurikirana nuko ibyo bibazo biba bike bishoboka nikibaye kikashakirwa umuti mu buryo bwihuse ibi rero byaratinze byaratinze kubera ko habaye mu cyo kintu cyo guhuza kujya muri systeme cyashya no guhuza amabanka abiri ariko twabikurikirana ku munsi kuwundi bari bafite abakozi benshi babiri mwo na ntabwo rwose twavuga ko habaye mu burangare nuko uko byakozwe byatumye wenda bakayiranya ibintu byinshi bituma haba mu kibazo icyo navuga nuko ikibazo cyabaye no gutinza amafaranga y'abantu ariko nta muntu watakaje amafaranga ye nta muntu watakaje amafaranga ye na banka nta mafaranga yatakaje haba icyo kibazo cyo gutinda ikindi twishimye nuko uyu munsi ukurisha raporo baduha nuko ibyo bibazo bisa naho abantu bose bari bakerere b'amafaranga ari yatinze hari abamaze ibyumwe bibira amafaranga aba kurikana gaya ati ataboneka ati iki cyumweru rwose twavuga yuko ubwo sinzi bwa bari hano wenda kandi confirm ariko nkurikije raporo nuko ibazo rasa naho byarangiye ntabwo biratungana neza ijana kwijana 
ariko byibuze ubu ngubu ahenshi birakora kandi birakora neza kana tuko turakomeza gukurikirana uko workshop kunoza iyo system yawo nshyashya icyo waruvuze ko kigihoraho kandi nicyo koko nuko muri uko gukoresha ikora na buhanga hari ubwo uhereza amafaranga ukabereza ku muntu runaka wowe bikakwereka ko avuye kuri konte yawe ariko wa muntu wayohereje ntagireyo ku gihe cyangwa se ukajya muri ATM ukabikuza amafaranga ikakwereka ko yakuye hari ko ntuyabone icyuma n'iki yaguhe ibyo ni ibibazo bikunze kubaho hari amabwiriza agenga uko aba banki yagombye guke muri ibyo bibazo karamuka maybe waza gutangaza details za za mabwiriza agendana nibyo ngibyo so hari ukuntu dukurikirana uko amabanki abikora hari za raporo zitangwa hari ukoze neza ariko gasanga wende ngo wagize ikibazo ikintu rero twagiye tubonaho nuko mbere wende abantu ntago babikoreshaga cyane bigatuma ubu ngubu rero uko abantu bagenda barushaho kubikoresha niko bisaba ubushobozi burushaho kugira ngo abantu bashye kubikoresha kimwe mu byo twabasabye nuko gushyira aho systeme zaho zijyanye niko abantu bagenda barushaho gukoresha izo systeme ikindi ni guhuza umurongo umwe kugira ngo ibyo twita multi channels Multi channels, the Gugango, Hong Gusha, Kuana, Haim Tien, Ekoran, and Nibigo Magana Videns Mirongwine, Arco Ubungu, Icho Trugu Kora, Muguzio Mirongo, Harundi Mushinga, Trugu Kora, Kurio, 
hazabaho umuyoboro umwe gusa ubihuza kugira ngo niyo habaye mu kabazo tumenye ubyo tugakemura kurusha uko bagira imiyoboro itandukanye icyo rero navuga haramabwiriza ariho kandi tugenzura kugira ngo turebe ko buri kigo cyose kigukurikiza ariko none no gufasha ho gushyira uzo systeme no kuzi no guziteza imbere kugira ngo zigire ubushobozi bwo gutanga izo service rakoze so kuri kuri BPR kuba nyamigabane wa Bank of Prez bakera eh haraba sanzwe babonetse nyango afite nka 17 kujana 17 yes so abo ngabo barazwe barazwe ba imigabane yabo irazwe ba uretse na KCB yaguze jo wundi nabari bahari barisanzwe mu bari baziranye nabo ndese jo wundi KCB iguze irabwira iti ubushaka kugurisha turamugurira nkuko twaguze kuri Atlas Mall ariko ikomeza ibigisha bashishikariza ko bagumana bagakomeza guteza imbere bank hari abandi rero benshi kugeza ubu batazwe babuze kamba ariko mbyita so yemi gabane rahari amatangazo aratangwa so tufashishikariza bank ukomeza gushakisha abantu baranye mi gabane batari yandikisha na ministeri imari nije na migambi nayo bavuganya nabo so ubwo twihaye ngira ngo kurangiza uyu mwaka in fact twebwe ntabwo ari byiza ko bagumana abanyamigabane batazwe so kurangiza uyu mwaka wuza abataraboneka ubwo migabane zashirwa hamwe ije muri cyacu cyaga cya leta cy'imitungo ya buri we bene yo hanyuma bank commerce ariko abandi boss barahari kandi bakorana na nabashora mari bashyase icyo navuga nuko babashyire ho iyo option ubushaka kugurisha baramugurira nkuko baguriye abari abanini bari barimo ariko nzi uko hazimaze yari amanama iyo yo kuganira nabo banyamigabane babashishikariza ko bakomeza bakorana nabo ikindi cyazo abaje ni kubiciro kugabana ko kubiciro ikizere ni ikihe icyambere nuko ku rwego mpuza amahanga birimo biragabanuka nuko twabivuze kimwe mu byazuteje ikibazo gikomeye ni 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 ku rwego mpuza amahanga so irebye rero ibiciro ku rwego mpuza amahanga birimo biragabanuka so bifite ikibazo kizadufasha kugabanya nabyo na byumvikana neza ejo abantu batazagira ngo twabijeje bitari byo ikigabanuka ni umuvudu ko kuzamuka ku biciro ntabwo ntabwo ari ibiciro passe nubwo akenshi ibiribwa byo biragabanuka ubwo iyo iyo twagize umusaruro mwiza ibiribwa byo biragabanuka rwose bigasubira hasi so icyo icyo ni kimwe cyane cyane tubona kiza kizafasha kumanura ibi biciro ikindi ariko kubera nyine ko inflation ukuntu ikora ikintu kizamutse uyu munsi nje subira hasi bishobora kumara nk'umwaka wose kigaragara nkaho cyakomeje kuza kutu tuvuga uyu munsi aya mazi yaguraga 1500 muri uku kwezi kwa kwa kabiri ejo ni babishyira kuri 1700 mu kwezi kwa gatatu inflation ya mazi mu kwezi kwa gatatu zaba ari yiyongere iyo 1200 no mu kwezi kwa kane kuko ubugeranye kwezi kwa kane ku mwaka ushize so kugeza tugeze mu kwezi kwa gatatu kwa kabiri ko mwaka ushize aho hatongiye kuba kuzamuka ubwo nibwo hafi inflation yaba ishize so harubwo yari guma iri hejo bitavuze yuko birimo bikomeza kuzamuka ariko turimo turageranya ukwezi kwa kabiri ku uyu mwaka no kwezi kwa kabiri ko mwaka ushize uko ibiciro byari bihagaze so hagata ikintu cyazamutse mu kwezi kwa 10 ku mwaka ushize n'uyu munsi twacyakibona nkaho cyazamutse ugiranye uko cyakimeze mu mwaka ushize so ibyo rero hari byo twita base effect nabyo kwera kwa bayemo kuzamuka mu mwaka ushize ibyo bizagenda bisa naho bishiramo tugenda tuganisha mu mu mpera zo mwaka so ikindi tukizera yuko ubuhinzi ubwo iya mibare dutanga nuko twizera ko ubuhinzi buzagenda neza kugenda neza ntituvuze ngo hazabaho bump harvest ho biba byinshi cyane cyangwa se ibibi hasi so twizeye ko ubuhinzi buzagenda neza kuberizo ngama navuze rwose rwabona iyo bishyizemo imbaraga nyinshi cyane so na vuga pari jeno pari bibiri byingenzi bitwikizere ko ibiciro biza ku muvudu ku biciro ku masoko uzasubira hasi kajya mu nsi y'umunana kwisha Governor mu bitwemereye twafata ibazo bibiri Bana ko se nitwa Hakizimana ndanenyere inkora Radio Flash ikibazo mbaza 
reka ngaruke gato ku bijyanye n'ibiciro mwagira nama cy'abaturage imyitwarire yabo muri ibi bihe uyu muvuduko w'izamuka ry'ibiciro ukomeje kuzamuka hanyuma ikindi nabaza muvuga iki kukuba ibigo by'ubwishingizi bikora icyo nakwita discrimination mu gutanga ubwishingizi tuvuga uyu munsi ejo bundi habaye kesi mu gakiriro ka gisozi abaturage baho bavuga ko ngo ibigo by'ubwishingizi byanze kuba ubwishingizi kubera ko bivuga ko ngo hari ahantu hahora hashya icyo kintu nka beneri mu kivuga ho iki murakoze murakoze reka e tubyakire byombi hanyuma tubisubize hamwe cyangwa anyway let's first handle that eh inama ku baturage ku muvuduko w'ibiciro ngira ngo nabivuze ubundi iyo turi mu gihe cya inflation nkuko eh ubundi giye inama umuturage kugura ikintu akeneye koko ni nayo ya politique monetaire ni biganisha ku guca intege kugura ibintu ugashishikariza kuzigama unfortunately ariko ikigoye nuko ibintu bizamuka cyane ni biribwa ntabwo abwira umuntu ngo wigure ibiribwa so aho ngaho biragorana ariko ubundi nama tujya mu gihe cya inflation nkuko nguko nuko umuntu agura ikintu akeneye koko uko bagenda bagabanya kugura ibintu niko bica intege kwa kuzamuka ku biciro ku masoko so ni ibyo numva ni yo nama twaje ariko biragoye kubera yuko none hingiye irajya kenshi ku bintu dafitwa wagenza kubiribwa so aho ngaho no gushaka gusi izindi ngamba zo kuno bya bya gabanuka bigasubira hasi eh ikibazo arubajije ntabwo ntabwo navuga ngo harimo kuvangura ikibazo gihari ubwo ni ni risk risk ubwo eh ntinya rwanda risk ubwo twayita ngiki ngora ne dirime risk mu kinyarwanda buriya nice e ko iyo umwishingizi akwishingiye abayiteguye yuko yego ni byago abayiteguye yuko nugira ibyago azakugoboka iyo agiye gushyira igiciro rero ku kubwishingiza ari buguhe agerageza kuje kugeranya ibyago ushobora kugira kiguzi bizafata akatanga igiciro kigendanye na bya byago ushobora kugira icyo gihe rero yabona ibyago ushobora kugira biri hejuru nuko igiciro cyaba hejuru cyane ubwo abo bagakiriro icyo icyakabaye nuko bashubera ko hari ikibazo cy'inkongi y'umuriba kenshi ubundi wagombye guhendwa kurusha umuntu ufite inzu hari ya wenda kakiru hataragira ikibazo cy'umuriro na kimwe so nyina ngo ikibazo ubwo ngubwo nuko abasereri bafite ikibazo cyo ku cyo kugena igiciro nyacyo cya cyafasha guhangana n'ibibazo aho hantu hagize urugero rundi wafata ni kuri moto nabyo ni kibazo tumaze kugana hano kenshi kuri moto kubera ko zikora accident nyinshi aba 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 tangu ubwishingizi benshi batinye kuziha ubwishingizi bituma bisa naho basigaranye umwe cyangwa babiri gusa ari bemera gutanga ubwishingizi nubwo ba aba motari bataka ko ubwishingizi ikiguzi kiri hejuru shwa kwa kiri hejuru koko ariko kiri hejuru kubera ibyago umwishingizi yumva zahura nabyo baramutse bagize kubera impanuka zihaba kenshi icyo gihe rero wenda kuba hasigaye umuntu umwe uba ubwishingizi agerageza kugabanya icyo gihombo aterwa n'ubwishingizi yafashe kwa amafaranga yaje ari abantu benshi bari hamwe abamenshi akayashora akungukira mu ishora amajya ya amafaranga yakuye mu baje kwishingira so nawo hari kibazo kibazo ni nukugerageza kugena igiciro kubera ibyago umwishingizi uri utanga umwishingizi yumva ashora guhura nabwo aho ngo niho ndiko numva nawe vuga niki nicyo kibazo wenda kuba batinya kubi kubiho bwishingizi ubwo nukwe so kuporite ko abo bantu se witeguye kuzishyura amafaranga menshi agendanye na risk wo mwishingizi agiye gutanga cyangwa sabwo agiye kwirengera so uh, thank you, Governor. Uh, just a clarification. I was wondering, like in your presentation, did you mention that uh, the economy expanded by 8.9% in the fourth quarter? Thank you. Yeah, th thank you for the 
question which clarifies it. So what expanded by 8.9% is the composite index of economic activities, mainly focusing on turnovers of services and, uh, and industries. Uh, so the actual growth of the economy will be different from that, but that gives an indication of where we expect the economy to be. So that is just for the uh, frequent numbers we follow the central bank. But the actual growth will be given by the Institute of Statistics. Governor, with your permission, I uh, would like to take the question from TNT. Last one. Yes. Yeah, thank you. My name is Alice. Uh, if I'm not mistaken from the slides you've shown us, the NPL increased in the by, by sector, especially the agricultural sector, has drastically increased. So, uh, what are you going to do to help these farmers? Do you see banks writing off some of these loans? Yes, it, we saw big increase in, uh, in non-performing loans in the agricultural sector. Uh, what banks do, they try to recover the loans that have gone bad. Uh, so. Uh, unfortunately, because the, the, the loans in this sector are minimal, in fact, this is driven by one big loan uh, that is increasing this uh, high growth of NPLs within the sector. So I think what the banks do is just to try and recover the money uh, as much as they can. They, they write off, of course, but even if they write off, they still try to recover the money. Unfortunately, what it means is it discourages lending to the sector because the sector is considered to be highly risky. And I think what government is doing, part of what they are doing is to try and de-risk the agriculture sector. And they have, uh, I know there's a project uh, sponsored by the World Bank that is supporting financing of the agriculture sector uh, on reduced interest rates but it's also a big part of that is a guarantee, trying to support farmers to, to access loans with a guarantee uh, 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 from government, but also the big, big chunk of that that government itself is going to be using to, to invest in infrastructure that helps to de-risk agriculture. And then there's continued support to agriculture insurance that started, I think, about four years ago or so. All these are meant to help the risk agriculture and uh, support the access to financing from the agricultural sector. Thank you, Governor, for your time. We have come to the end of uh, today's press conference, and I uh, wish you a good day. <laughs>